Hello everyone, we continue our Tekken 8 prep, so welcome to our Ling Primer. Ling is the queen of evasion, exemplified by her Art of Phoenix stance. She's not necessarily a mix-up beast, but she is an exceptional poker, which feeds into her evasive qualities by slowly antagonizing the opponent into mistakes. So don't expect to be a 50-50 monster, but at the same time, if you love using a character's full move list and getting really weird and creative with it, Ling is definitely for you. As with our other primers, this video should give you a good quick rundown on the character to jumpstart your learning and get you playing some matches. We will keep the technical lingo to a minimum, but you should still have some knowledge on basic standardized Tekken terms, especially notations and terms for various game mechanics. In other words, this guide is meant for beginners, but you should already know a little bit about the game, just not necessarily the character. If you are brand new to Tekken, check out the resource links in the video description below. I've included several, including a system basics guide that operates as a tutorial for the whole game since Tekken doesn't really have that built in. To me, I think it's incredibly important to go over that before trying to tackle character specific guides. But enough of all that, let's begin. This first section is going to be longer than usual because we have to look at a lot of things to explain her offense. So I'll warn you that I'm going to throw a lot of things out there, but that's the point. You have a ton of tools to use and you should be using as many of them as you can since you want your opponent thinking about as much as possible. It's perfectly fine to pick a handful of things at first and slowly add more in as you go, but get cozy with the idea of digging deep into the move list. Getting wild and creative is what makes her good and fun. So let's get started with her poke game. Her jabs are strong and she has a safe, powerful, uninterruptible mid for a third hit for really good cover. By the way, you can do that hit by itself as down back one and it's just as good. One down two and two one are strong ways to get to back turn. Down forward one is the same hit as the second attack of two one and note if you hold any direction you can stay front facing so keep that in mind. Optional stance transitions are always useful to keep opponents guessing. Down forward one is also a fan favorite abusable move since it's a quick, safe mid poke that can and go under highs. Back three is another good poke, although this time you have no choice but to go back turn and it's a high. Down forward two, down forward four, and forward forward one are all great quick mid pokes as well. Forward forward one is tricky in that it has a couple of string enders or you can go to AOP. Forward forward three is another one that has great range and takes you to back turn. Her low pokes really shine as well. Down three, down four, down back two and down back four being the main ones. Down back two is the best of the bunch because of how much advantage you get on hit, which is really nice going to back turn. Although note that down three has a second hit that has to be respected and down back four has the ability to launch on counter hit. So they're all very good. Before we talk about stances, note quickly that if the match slows down, you have plenty of heavy pressure mids you can toss in, which helps not only keep up pressure, but can really kill people ducking. The notables are one plus two, four slide three, up forward four, up forward one plus two, running three, forward forward four, and forward forward one plus two, one plus two. As you can see, they're all safe, but three of them actually give advantage on block. Up forward four and up forward one plus two will give you combos on counter hit, and up forward four and running three can go to AOP. Also, since she has so much that makes her recover and crouch, note that while standing one, two, three, and four are all safe mids. While standing two and three are both counter hit launchers, and you can hold while standing two to make it a normal hit launcher. While standing back four is another safe counter hit launcher that can be done from standing with quarter circle back four. Oh, and you have three lows from full crouch that you can harass with too, so plenty to work with in crouch. So now about those stances. There are really only two you need to focus on, Art of Phoenix or AOP and her back turn. Obviously we already mentioned some transition moves, but both are really strong when done manually as well, especially AOP. AOP is notorious because of how insanely low she gets, and if you press down you can get even lower. It's something you're opponent has to game plan for. You have a quick safe mid check with AOP 4, but your goal with AOP really is to be evasive. Up forward 3 is your low crush magic. It's an instant jumping launcher, but also has string options if you think they're going to block it. If they're using highs and not respecting your low profile, you have several high crushes, namely AOP 3, 4 slide 3, forward 4, down 1, and down 1 plus 2 all have various risks and rewards, so use whichever you like the most. AOP 1 plus 2 deserves an honorable mention since it's a reasonably fast, safe, 
heavy hitting mid. So it's good if they're randomly ducking or if they just flat out whiff something. Lastly, make note of the movement options, the most used being the forward roll, the side rolls, and simply canceling back into a stand, back turn, or crouch. Again, feel free to start with just a couple tools and build on those, but like her neutral, you want to be using as much variety as you can. The more you show, the more they have to account for. Now that we've explained AOP and neutral, her back turn, also sometimes called rain dance, is a lot easier to explain because your mentality here should be the exact same. Throw as much out as you can. But we can suggest a simple approach. Your low options without rage are very limited here, so at first, just stick to down three, which gives a ton of advantage on on hit and has plenty of range. For interrupts, you have the turnaround kick, the crouch jab, and the generic hop kick. You also have a cali roll that has an optional mid launcher, or you can just turn around or spin away. You have some mids you can use, but normally Ling players are just hunting for back turn four, which is an incredibly fast long range mid launcher. You do have several other attacks and strings from back turn, and you should eventually throw those in, but it's fine to start with just these and see if you can nab that back turn four. Now, the entirety of Ling's kit down to her naturally small hurt box is designed to force your opponent to use moves that have specific anti-movement and anti-stance purposes. For example, if you start AOP rolling, now they have to do something that tracks and hits low. In essence, you should be forcing your opponent to hyper-focus on certain tools, then you can counter those tools. If they're not paying attention to these things, your evasive tools can just outright win you the match. But no move will cover everything, so once you see them favoring one type of move, you switch to another type of style to force a different move. When they finally get sloppy, you either whiff punish or start nabbing counter hits. This section will be pretty short because for defense, we already mentioned a lot of her evasive tools, which is her bread and butter. We also mentioned a bunch of counter hit tools too. But note that she has a magic four, which is a very fast, safe counter hit launcher that's good both for keep out and counter hit traps. She also has standing three, an I-14 normal hit launcher, which not all characters have. It's not safe, but it's not super risky either. Otherwise, the only noteworthy evasive tools we didn't mention are her hop kick, which low crushes, and sidestep four, which high crushes. Sidestep 4, by the way, can be mixed up a little bit by sidestepping and doing a 1 plus 2, which is the same speed. For block and whiff, she's got some fairly strong options, as you'd imagine. 1, 2 for her jab punish. Forward 1 plus 2 is almost as fast and is a mid splatter. Then, yet only slightly slower, is back 4, 4, then your standing 3. Down forward 2, slide 1 is your fastest mid launcher, which follows right after that. Crouch is a bit simpler with while standing 4, while standing 1-4, and then her hop kick. And really, as you first start, that's about it. Again, everything evasive we mentioned for offense, you'd be using for defense too. The last little bit here is mostly housekeeping. Strictly speaking, Ling's weak side is her right, but tracking shouldn't be too big of an issue because you have some moves that track to her right, like down back two, but with all the movement you should be doing, you should be constantly realigning yourself. She does, however, have a strong homing launcher in forward four. It even gives advantage on block, so another pressure tool. Big downside is that it's a high. Second, she doesn't quite have a complete grab game because she lacks a true one break, but she does have command grabs, and if they land, you can get some awesome reward. Forward 2 plus 3, for instance, if they don't know how to turn around correctly, gives you a free back turn 4. And Oki in general is a strength of hers since she has a lot of moves that hit grounded or can easily catch you trying to stand or do something. For instance, up forward 1 plus 2 is pretty well known for crossover potential. Third, don't be afraid to dial up the gimmicks. As we've mentioned, she has a big move list and figuring out what they know and what they don't is important. Sidestep 3 is a common starting point. It's a very seeable low launcher, but you can cancel it into back turn. So first, test if they can block it on reaction, then test if they know the cancel but don't be afraid to dig deep into the move list. As always, we'll skip combos since that's straightforward stuff, but check out the link in the video description below for some standard combos to get you started. And lastly, her rage drive. We glossed over it earlier, but it's a more powerful version of back turn down three, which turns it into a launcher and gives you an actual scary mix-up threat. It's also safe on blocks, so to properly deal with it, they have to parry or crush it. It's not something you can regularly rely on since it's only available with rage, but definitely Definitely keep it in mind. 
This brings us to the end of the primer. I'm hoping this information was succinct and helpful for getting a jump on the character, but feedback is always welcome. Be mindful that in-depth discussion for game plans and move attributes will be saved for intermediate guides, although since we have the more robust basics guides already for Tekken 7, true intermediate guides will be something to look out for with Tekken 8. Lastly, big thanks to our patrons. You guys are the best and that support means more than you know. But to everyone, stay safe and we'll see you next time.